Hello. If you clicked on this video, this means you are interested in my reasonings for why the viewers should save Gelatin from elimination. The results for Gelatin fans were horrifying. He barely managed to survive his battle against his competition, Ruby. Oh, Gelatin, Ruby, one of you will be eliminated. How's it gonna be? The results are... <gasps> Alright, so Team Ice Cube's elimination and the second elimination for the half cuts seems to have created a lot of controversy, which I understand. I know that Braceletti is a fan favorite, and people are upset, and thought she should have stayed, and I agree, but please don't take your anger out on Gelatin. He didn't cause the elimination of Braceletti, nor Ruby, and I can say why. It states on Gelatin's wiki page that Gelatin is friends with both Ruby and Braceletti. He shares no bad blood with either of them, and, as I've shown, before how he's a selfless character, for example, when he sacrificed himself to save Match's life in BFDIA. Match, look out! It shows that Gelatin wouldn't try to get someone else eliminated to save himself. He's completely honest and wouldn't backstab anyone for his own personal gain. Moving on, due to the cast size being a lot smaller for BFB, after the split, it went down from 64 to 14, it gives the characters more screen time to express themselves in a whimsical way. This was suited for Gelatin, as he likes to spark up fun in situations and is one of the few people who has helped out in every challenge since the split. Now let's dig into what Gelatin has done in BFB, after the split, starting from BFB 17, the episode starts off with Leafy talking to Gelatin, not many people like Leafy, but it seems that Gelatin is cool with her. Sure Gelatin has attacked Leafy in the past, shown in BFDI A2 and 5A, but it was only for self-defense since Leafy was throwing knives and acted suspicious. Leafy was made of oil metal back then and turned gray. Gelatin was unable to distinguish Leafy as being the gray Leafy that he saw in BFDI A, so he was perfectly fine with talking to her. This gives Leafy a friend. Since Gelatin has been put on a new team with different people, he decides to make conversations with his new teammates in the challenge to ask them if they have any ideas on how to get the challenge done. Leafster, how are we gonna get X? By using our imagination! Okay, bye. Bubble, you got any ideas? Uh, um, uh. No. Ruby had an idea which involved a box she was holding. Gelatin snatches the item so that they could get the challenge done quicker, which unlocked the Free Smart Super Van. Right before her unforgivable elimination, our mystic alliance leader Pencil gifted me her most prized possession, urging me not to open it until the stars align. I have safely guarded this treasure for many moons until snatch. Well, let's use it! Free Smart Super Man! When the have cots arrive into the pot land, Gelatin enthusiastically asks his team who wants to grab X. Gelatin said that his role in their plan was to stab. But his line got cut off by Bubble, who asked if she should grab X. Here it'd make most sense to assume that Gelatin was going to stab too with a fork, making their objective of retrieving X easier. When the half cots were driving back to four, Gelatin remembers Teardrop and reminds the team that they forgot her, so they go back to collect her. <laughs> Guys, we forgot Teardrop! Oh shoot, you're right! This shows that Gelatin cares about others and wants everyone to be at their best. He already remembers his teammates, which is a factor that shows he's a good friend. In BFB 18, the half cots have their elimination ceremony. Gelatin is upset that his team lost, although he tried to ask for ideas that could be useful for the challenge. At the elimination, Bubbles says that she feels nervous but in her natural accent, and Gelatin willingly teaches her how to say nervous correctly. Oh, I'm so nervous! Bubble! It's pronounced nervous. Say it with me, nervous. Ner, ner, nervous? There you go! Bubble did it. Gelatin has taught her well. Gelatin is declared safe with 5,202 votes. That's more positive votes he has received than the number of votes he's received in a single elimination vote. He says he's no longer nervous anymore, imitating Bubble's accent for fun. Bubble and Jelly are safe! Hooray! 
Now I'm not Neuervis anymore. But hey, Gelatin, that's not fair. You know what, Bubble? Accents? They can change. The slightly angered Bubble who thought it wasn't fair, and anger is usually an alert to Gelatin that someone needs to calm down. Since Bubble is extremely fragile, Gelatin doesn't see the need to use his freeze juice on Bubble, due to it being able to pop her anyways because it's so sharp. So Gelatin thinks that using the freeze juice would have been a waste of juice. Therefore, he simply pops her instead, saying in Bubble's accent that accents can change. Gelatin wouldn't have hurt someone out of spite, so he believed that this may have been a suitable and much sustainable alternative to calm her down. Unfortunately, I must end the video here. For more information about Gelatin's character from BFDIA before and after the split, check the Google Doc in the description below. This explains all of Gelatin's character, as well as everything he's done that may come off as questionable, but shows he has no bad intentions at heart. This may be able to answer some of your questions about Gelatin. Thank you for watching. This is that Lily Guy, signing off.